Welcome back to the channel. If your controller isn't working properly in Hollow Knight, Silk Song, maybe it's not responding at all, or inputs feel delayed and buggy. Don't worry, you've landed in the right place. Today, I'm going to walk you through the ultimate step-by-step -step fix guide for controller issues on PC. Whether you're using an Xbox, PlayStation, Switch Pro, or even a third-party controller, this video will help you get everything running smooth so you can enjoy Silk Song without frustration. Stick with me until the end because I'll also cover hidden settings most players miss. Before we jump into the fixes, let's quickly understand why Silk Song might not detect or respond to your controller. Steam Input Conflicts The game might be receiving double input or none at all. Outdated drivers for your controller or USB device. Background software like overlays or input mappers causing conflicts. Wrong in-game settings or corrupted configuration files. Knowing the root cause makes fixing a lot easier. 1. Verify controller connections. Whether you are using Steam or Game Pass, let's get started. Before making changes, ensure that your controller is properly connected. If you're using a wired controller, try a different USB port. If you're using a Bluetooth controller, go to Windows Settings Bluetooth and Devices check if your controller shows up. Make sure your controller appears in the connected devices list. If the controller is connected but unresponsive, simply restart your PC and reconnect the controller. Now let's move to the next step. 2. Configure controller settings in Steam. If you're playing the game on Steam, make sure your controller settings are correctly applied. Open Steam. Go to the View option and select Big Picture Mode. Navigate to Settings Controller Settings. Here, enable the appropriate configuration for your controller. For Xbox controllers, turn on Xbox Configuration Support. For PlayStation controllers, enable PlayStation Configuration Support. For Switch Pro controllers, enable Steam Input for Switch Pro controllers. If Steam asks for additional Xbox extended features, install them, then restart Steam. Now save the settings and restart Steam to apply changes. 3. Disable Steam Input for the game. Some games have issues with Steam Input overriding native controller support. To fix this, Open your Steam library. Right-click the game. Select Properties. Go to the Controller tab. Under Override for the game, choose Disable Steam Input. This allows the game to use its own native controller support instead of Steam's. 4. Adjust controller bindings in Steam. If your controller buttons are mapped incorrectly or unresponsive, you may need to adjust the bindings. Open Steam and go to your library. Select the game. Click Manage Controller Layout. Here, you can remap your gamepad buttons or load community layouts that may already be optimized for the game. This is especially useful if you're using a DualShock or DualSense controller. 5. Restart Steam and relaunch the game. Sometimes a quick restart resolves controller issues. Close Steam completely. Unplug the controller and plug it back in. Restart Steam and then launch the game, making sure your controller is connected before starting the game. 6. Check Windows Gamepad Settings. If your controller still doesn't work, check the Windows Gamepad settings. Open Windows Settings, Bluetooth, and Devices. Look for your controller under the Connected Devices list. If it's missing, try pairing again using Bluetooth or connect it via USB. This ensures Windows itself recognizes the device before the game can use it. 7. Rebind Problematic Actions Some players find the default button layout makes accidental grabs more common. Rebind grab slash interaction to a separate button that you don't hit during combat. If wall jumps feel inconsistent, bind jump to a trigger or bumper instead of face buttons. This reduces input overlap during fast movement. 8. Adjust in game settings. You can adjust settings. Turn off vibration. It reduces input delay. Lower controller sensitivity makes movements more precise. Run the game at high priority. Task manager right click set priority high. This improves input response timing, especially for wall jumps. 9. Reinstall controller drivers. If the issue persists, reinstall your controller drivers. Right-click the Windows icon and select Device Manager. Expand Human Interface Devices. Find your controller right-click choose Uninstall Device. Restart your PC and Windows will automatically reinstall the drivers. 10. Check for Windows updates. Outdated system files can cause controller detection issues. Open Windows Settings. Go to Windows Update. Click Check for Updates, Install Everything Available, and Restart Your PC. 11. Try Third-Party Controller Software. 
If Steam and Windows settings don't fix the problem, try third-party controller software. For PlayStation controllers, use DS4 Windows. For remapping issues, try ReWSD or similar tools to map buttons manually. This often resolves compatibility problems when the game doesn't detect your controller properly. 12. Enable Virtual Memory Boost Page File Press Windows plus R type SYSDM.CPL Enter. Go to Advanced Tab Settings under Performance. Go to Advanced Tab again click Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage. Select your C drive choose Custom Size. Initial Size 4096. Maximum Size 8192. Apply and reboot. This helps your system recover from memory overflows caused by loading zones or online syncing. 13. Check Microsoft Visual C++ and DirectX. Download and install both x64 and x86 versions of the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables for the years 2015 through 2022. You can find the official download page on the Microsoft website. Also install the DirectX end user runtime by downloading it from the official Microsoft site. After installing these packages, restart your computer again and test the game. 14. Ensure Windows and Drivers are fully updated. Go to Settings, Windows Update and check for updates. Install any pending updates and restart your PC. And there you have it, a complete guide to fixing controller bugs and input issues in Hollow Knight, Silksong. By now, your controller should be fully responsive and ready to take on every challenge in the game. If this helped, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more Rayall fix guides that go beyond the obvious settings. And let me know in the comments, what controller are you using? And did this fix finally make platforming feel right for you? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.